doctor didn't tell me anything about it. And then doctor said to me, sorry, I have to give you one news. I said, what? Yeah. He said, your son uh, has severe autism disorder. I said, okay. Then my heart was beating and like pumping and I was just, I had a, one question in my hand, uh, in my heart that I, I would ask him so quick. So that question was, is that a curable? Like I was just, a, you know, that was, I was frustrated to say right away and ask right away because his, he's three and a half years old. He's got whole life to go on with, right? So he said to me, I was uh, like, saw his face and he said, not really. I said, okay, uh, so what is next? He said, uh, your son needs uh, speech therapy and this and that. There's no medication for, for his uh, problem. So what he said to me that we have to wait two years to get treatment to be begin. But he said by the time you're gonna get treatment, it was a little late for my son because he, that's the right age to get treatment. So then I was thinking and then the doctor said to me, like the specialist said to me that meet more people like parents who, whom their kids are already autistic kids and uh, just search on google about this uh, autism thing and try to read material as much as you can meet the parents and things but there is nothing in there i can help you out you cannot jump the queue or you cannot do anything at this point of time. Just try to avoid from uh, television. But last week we went for the uh, school admission for my son. When he went inside for uh, registration, he saw they gave them a paper and they gave them some colors. So he wrote it down, A, B, C, D, from A to Z. And then he wrote it down 1 to 20. And he can speak that and he can uh, other way around. He can uh, upside down from like 19, 20, 19, 18, 17, like this. Because he learned from the traffic light. When like uh, my wife stops on traffic light, so there's a numbering going on 10, 9, 8, 7. So he, then he says 1, then he says hand. Because hand comes up on traffic light. So when we heard this, that was uh, the time of my life that, uh, that I was calling myself in and challenging the doctor as said to me. Then uh, we, we, we don't know what to do. We don't know what is next. At that time, we didn't know nothing about it. But he said, at least four to eight hundred times you have to repeat single word add in his memory you have to add words he's a blind he doesn't have a memory you have to give him a memory from three and a half years me and my wife never heard from our son daddy or mother that's the most important thing that we've been waited for and we are still waiting and we are still, my wife all credit goes to my wife and my three daughters. They always been so loving with him, all the time teaching him. He he saw ABCD maybe ten times, and the numerics he never seen. But by heart he knows color. He knows how to write spelling of the colors, all the colors, all the shapes, by heart. And this is God gifted thing. Like this is amazing that. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is something extra from God that he's got. But he doesn't know how to make sentence. He doesn't, he cannot join the words. And he doesn't have, uh, uh, I mean, 
ability to continue talk or something. When he needs something, he always comes to me and take my finger and take me into the kitchen that he needs something. That's all he's doing it. And he's not washing trains, maybe 10 years, maybe, we don't know nothing. But we felt the sorrow, the pain, the grief, the, the time we came to know, that was the hardest time in our life. And uh, meanwhile, I met uh, Mr. Fassi Sayyid. He's one of the person, he gave me really support in, in every way. He said, don't worry about it, we'll help in this. And I want to do, uh, do fundraising for this because two years queue is not a very good thing that by the time treatment is going to get to the child, that will be too late for him. So then I spoke to Mr. Fassi Sayyid, my team, Unity in the community, Brampton team, like all the members, they are, I'm out of word to say thanks to them. They are like an angels. They have done marvelous efforts and they are so mankind, so kind, and they are so soft-hearted. And they took that issue, and now I'm in front of you. And nobody, like, I don't know nothing, but they showed me a light at the side of the tunnel. And I'm still working on it, and hopefully in this year, I will try my best, and my team will try best to raise money to get that uh, queue shorter for other people who is coming after me. So thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for coming and hope that uh, my experience I shared with you. Thank you so very much. And I wanna say thanks to the uh, unity in the community. I wanna say thanks for every single person who's sitting in there. And obviously, uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thanks.